Hey, hello, wonderful chat chatters. So you've been learning English with me for a few years and you've been also answering the daily questions that I put on the community tab, the quiz. And now it's time to test your fluency level. So we have a rapid fire test which has 35 pairs of common words that English learners frequently confuse. These are not crazy difficult unheard of words like perspicacious <laughs> or whatever that means but everyday basic words. So pull out your pen and paper and score yourself on this quick test. Give yourself one point for every correct answer and tell me your score at the end. Let's begin. Number one is allowed versus allowed. You are allowed to bring your own snacks to the movie theater provided you don't talk aloud. Now you have four options and in a few seconds the correct answer is going to flash on your screen. So there it is. Give yourself one mark for the correct answer. This allowed means permitted like being allow like you allow someone and the second allowed means audible or out loud and how I remember it is that the second one has the loud inside the word so I know that this is about being loud. Number two is two versus two versus two. <laughs> I need to walk two miles today because I ate too much cake yesterday. You have four options on the screen and I hope you are not too confused. Okay, here it is. This two is a number. This two is a preposition and this two means a lot. And I remember it as having too many O's like two. <laughs> number three is flower versus flower. When my cat decided to explore the kitchen, I found flower paw prints leading to a flower bed on the balcony. Again, there are four options on the screen and here it is. This flower is food, the white powdery one that we use in cakes, while this flower is the beautiful blooming plant. At number four is profit versus profit. The stock market is so unpredictable that even the best couldn't predict whether you'll or not. I hope you don't need the help of a prophet to choose among the four options. And there it is. Profit is used to talk about financial gain like in a bank, while prophet is a person who predicts future events like Prophet Muhammad. Comment below, by the way, if you know names of these types of words that sound the same but are spelt differently. And it's a rapid fire, so let's move on. At number five, we have cereal versus cereal. I thought my breakfast was getting dramatic when I found a cereal killer posing on my cereal box. <laughs> you have four options in cereal order on the screen. And bingo! This serial relates to a series or sequence like a TV serial, while this serial is a breakfast food like cornflakes. At number six is new versus new. I asked my friend if he knew any good jokes, but he replied, I don't, but my new pet parrot does. Again, you have four options on the screen. I knew this one will be easy for you. And here are the answers. This new is the past tense of no, while this new means something recently made or discovered. Okay, number seven is week versus week, seven days a week. I couldn't lift dumbbells because I'm so weak, but I'll try again next week. Pick your option and I hope you're not feeling weak with all these questions. And here it is. Weak means lacking strength, while this week is a period of seven days. Number eight is sight versus sight versus sight. I thought the tour guide was going to cite historical facts, but instead they took us to a site with an amazing sight of adorable puppies. This is quite a sight, so pick your option. And here is some insight into the answer. This site means to quote as evidence or to mention as an example. 
This sight refers to a location or a place and the last sight relates to vision or something that we can see. Coming up on number 9 is which versus which. I couldn't decide which costume to wear for Halloween so I dressed up as a witch which made everyone laugh. <laughs> This is some serious sorcery. And which option are you choosing? Abracadabra, here it is. This witch refers to a sorceress or someone on a broomstick straight from Harry Potter. And this witch is a pronoun used to talk about choice or selection. Get ready for number 10. Here versus here. I left my phone here and I can't hear it ringing. Here are your four options and I hope you were able to hear the question correctly. Here you go. This here is an adverb indicating place. While this here is a verb meaning to perceive sounds through our ears. The way I remember it is because there is an ear inside the here. Now we are 10 questions down. We have 25 more exciting questions coming up for you. And meantime it's shout out time. This week it goes to Priyan for leaving this cute message under our last video. And I know you want a shout out. You just need to write me a nice message below. And remember to use the hashtag Chet Chatters. Now on to the quiz. At number 11 is your versus your. I told your cat that you're the boss. I hope your guess is right on this one. You're right. Yay. This your is a possessive pronoun indicating ownership, while this your is a contraction of you are. Number 12 is weather versus weather. I'm trying to decide whether to go outside, but the weather is looking pretty awful. I am wondering whether you will choose the correct option. So put down your choices in the comments below and this is the right answer. This weather refers to the state of the atmosphere, while this weather is used to introduce a choice or indicate uncertainty. Now the way I remember this is WH words are usually for question or choice like what, why, which. Same way weather is also a word for choice, so WH. Number 13 is its versus its. This is a very common one. The restaurant is famous for its signature dish and it's a must try when you visit. It's a very confusing choice, isn't it? And here is the answer. Well, this it's is a possessive pronoun showing ownership. The cat was biting its tail. Whereas this it's with an apostrophe is a contraction of it is or it has. I hope it's been a fun test so far for you and coming up is number 14, Principal versus Principal. Sounding to me like the movie Karthik versus Karthik. The principal at the school had one guiding principal to always ensure that the principal amount is secure in the bank. And you have four options on your screen, so quickly choose one. And here it is. This principle is talking about a fundamental truth or belief. And this other principle can mean a person who holds a high position in an organization and it can also refer to the original amount of money in an investment. Number 15 is personal versus personnel. I asked the manager for a assistant but all I got was a Macius. Well personally speaking this is a trick question and you have four options on your screen and this is the correct answer. This personal refers to an individual. Example my personal bag and this personnel is the employees or staff of an organization like personnel management. At 16 is break versus break. I was about to break a piece of chocolate when the car in front of me slammed on the brake. We were so scared that we decided to take a break and have coffee before resuming our drive. Now don't break your winning streak and make sure you get this one right. 
And here is the answer for you. This brake is a device that is used to stop a vehicle like the brakes in a car. And this brake means to shatter or pause like breaking a chocolate or a glass or a break during a long drive or a movie. Number 17 is peace versus peace. I asked my friend for a piece of advice and he said, take a nap and you'll find peace of mind. Well, I hope you have the peace right now to answer this question correctly. So choose among the four options and the answer is on your screen. This peace is like a calm, you know, a state of tranquility and harmony. And this peace refers to a part or a portion of something, a piece of cake. And 18 is desert versus dessert. When we got lost in the I wished I had packed more to keep my spirits sweet. Ah, oh, the sweetness of dessert, especially in a desert. Pick, pick your option out of the four on the screen. And here is the answer. Desert is a dry, arid area like the Sahara Desert and is pronounced as desert. This one, however, dessert is a sweet ice cream or brownie that you have at the end of the meal and is pronounced as dessert, not desert. Number 19 is bear versus bear. The camper tried to walk barefoot in the jungle, but when he saw a bear, he realized he couldn't bear the camping life after all. I hope you're barely having any trouble with this. And meantime, I'm sending over a big bear hug to all of you. And now if you've chosen your option, then here comes the answer. This bear is a large mammal or a, it can be used as a verb meaning to endure or carry, to bear a lot of pain. Couldn't bear the camping life. But this bear means naked or uncovered like barefoot. Coming up at number 20 is illusion versus illusion. The fortune teller's to my future wealth was nothing more than an to keep me coming back for more readings. Now take your pick and make sure you get the right answer and your answer is coming up here. Allusion refers to an indirect reference, to allude to something. Illusion is something that appears real but it's not. Number 21 is accept versus accept. I'll any challenge in the kitchen. The one that involves making a pizza. That's where I defeat. I will accept that this might be a little confusing. But if you pause the video and read the question once again, you will surely get the right option. And here is the answer. Accept is a verb meaning to agree or receive or undertake something like accepting a gift, accepting a challenge, accepting defeat and it's pronounced as accept. Accept is pronounced as accept and is a preposition meaning excluding like accept excluding or not including. Accept this challenge means apart from this one or not including this one. 22 is affect versus effect. The scientist's experiment was meant to the chemical reaction, but it had an unintended and it turned the lab mice into miniature superheroes. Now pause the video, make sure you get your options right and the answer is up here on the screen for you. Affect is a verb that means to influence or to make an impact on something else. Effect is a noun which is the result or the consequence of something. I affect something but it has an effect on me. At 23 is lose versus lose. My friend challenged me to a race but my shoelaces were so loose that I had to stop and lose precious seconds tying them which meant I might lose the race. And if you are losing your mind over these mind benders, then make sure you look carefully at all the options and pick the right one. And here is the answer. This lose is a verb that means to misplace something or fail to win or maybe like lose my keys, lose time or lose the race. But this lose 
is an adjective meaning not tight or it's free from restraint, a loose sweater, a loose pair of shoelaces. How I remember it is that when something is loose, it is very big and it has extra O's, like the spelling of loose is also very big. At 24 is there versus there versus there. I heard they're going to their favorite ice cream parlor, so I rushed there to make sure I didn't miss out on the fun. And here are the four options in front of you and here is the right answer. There is a possessive pronoun showing ownership like their car, their ice cream. This one is an adverb indicating a place like here and there. In fact, it's also spelled like here. So that's how you can remember it. And they are with an apostrophe is a contraction of they are. They are going. They are going. At 25 is stationary versus stationary. I visited the stationary store to buy some stationery, but it turned out the store was stationery. It didn't move at all. This one can be a little confusing and I must admit, but pick the right option and here is the answer. Stationery with an A means not moving and stationery with an E refers to paper, envelopes and writing materials. I remember this as E for envelope and E for stationery. <laughs> Number 26 is then versus than. I'd rather eat a whole cake, run a marathon, but I'd have to deal with the guilt the next day. Every now and then we need a revision test like this one. So pick one option and here is the right answer. Then with an E is talking about an event. It is an adverb indicating a specific time or sequence of events. Than with an A is a conjunction and is used for making comparisons. Better than, rather than. Number 27 is adverse versus averse. My friend is to waking up early, but when faced with the consequences of being late for work, he reconsidered. I hope you're not, have, you're not averse to rapid fire tests like this. Pick one option and bingo. Adverse means unfavorable or harmful, like adverse effects. Remember effect versus effect and adverse consequences. Averse means having a strong dislike or opposition to something. I'm averse to food that is too spicy or salty. At number 28 is pray versus pray. My grandma always tells me to pray before bedtime, but she also wants me to lock my door so I don't become prey to the monsters in the loft. I pray that you get a top score on this test and pick the right option, one out of these four. And here is the answer. Pray is to make a request or offer a prayer. Pray refers to an animal hunted or captured by another for food. Next is peruse versus browse. When I went to the bookstore, I planned to the classic section, but I got lost the graphics novel. Do peruse some of my English videos if you want a more in-depth understanding and practice now. Meantime, choose one of these options and here is your answer. Peruse means to examine or read thoroughly, like peruse my resume, peruse my project report. And browse means to casually look through or skim, just like browsing the internet and finding something interesting. 30 is compliment versus compliment. I gave a compliment to my friend on their outfit and they said, well, it's a great compliment to my wardrobe. Pick one of these four options and here is the right answer. Compliment with an I is an expression of praise. We all love compliments, don't we? And compliment with an E means something that completes or goes with something else, like complementary colors and complementary angles that go together. 31 is discreet versus discreet. The spy was trained to be discreet about her mission, but she accidentally dropped 
discreet clues all over town. Now, please don't be discreet and share your scores openly with us so that we all learn from each other. Meantime, pick one of these options and here is the right answer on your screen. This discreet means careful and a little secretive in one speech or action. While this discreet is what you see in statistics. It means individually separate and distinct. 32 is illicit versus illicit. The detective was trying to a confession, but the suspect was more interested in discussing his love for chocolate chip cookies. Now, I'm trying to elicit the correct response from you, so pick one of these four options and here is the correct answer. Elicit with an E means to draw out or evoke a response, while illicit means illegal or forbidden. Remember this illicit has an ill in it like illegal and they have similar meanings. 33 is flounder versus founder. When the ship began to in the storm, the of the company shouted, I didn't sign up for this. I hope you don't flounder on this one. We have four options on the screen and you will easily be able to pick the right one. And here's the correct answer. Flounder means to struggle awkwardly or have difficulty doing something. While founder, in fact founder as a noun, it refers to a person who has established or created something such as the founder of a company. 34 is improve versus improvise. I tried to my cooking skills but when I realized I was out of flour I had to by using pancake mix. Now knowing the difference between these two words will greatly improve your spoken English because people often confuse these two. Improve means to make something better and improvise is often misused. It's not a synonym of improve. It actually means to create or perform spontaneously without preparation like having to improvise using limited resources. And the last question, number 35, is morning versus morning. I tried to cheer up my friend who was a breakup. So I showed up at their door with a coffee and a sympathy donut. It was a breakfast of emotions. I'm sure you're mourning that this rapid fire test is coming to an end, but mourning is the early part of the day and mourning is the act of grieving or expressing sorrow. Ta-da! And that is the end of the rapid fire test and I'm sure you did really well. Whether you stumbled or fumbled, you know you can go back to that part and watch the video once again. And make sure you write your scores in the comments below and happy learning and I'm going to see you next Friday. Bye.